Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. So I'm, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I've already done my prepping and priming of my nails and I'm just going to form these nails. I start off using clear acrylic and I use that to form the length of the nail. And then I'm gonna go in with this beautiful green acrylic and I'm just going to apply that to the tip and fan that backwards to create a soft ombre. And then I go in with this beautiful cover nude acrylic and I apply that to the cuticle area and fan that down towards the tip. I mixed sugar glitter from my shop with the cover nude so that's why it's extra shimmery. So once I have the transition area like I like, I go ahead and cap that with clear acrylic and I'm just going to repeat the same thing for this nail. I was inspired by the nail cakery for this nail design. She posted a gorgeous picture of a set that she did with a beautiful uh, mint green color acrylic and I was really inspired, but of course you guys know I had to add my own twist to it. All right, and for my middle finger, I'm going to be creating a French tip. So I start off uh, creating my base with my clear, like I always do. And to create this French tip nail, I'm going to be doing the reverse application method. And that's basically, you know, creating your nail bed area first. Um, I just wanted to, you know, practice more with this technique. Um, I just feel that I can get better. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, practice more and create that perfect smile line. Okay, so once I have the nail bed and smile line area the way that I like, I go ahead and apply the mint green acrylic and just try to be very neat around the smile line. I forgot to mention that this green acrylic is from Born Pretty Store. I will leave the link down below. Alright and for my index fingernail I'm just going to be doing the ombre nail as before.
All right, and once I'm done with that, I go back to the middle finger and encapsulate with clear acrylic. Alright, so once all the nails have set, I go ahead and take the forms off and do my filing and shaping. And this is after I have filed, shaped, and buffed. And as you can see, I shaped my ring fingernail into a stiletto nail. So I go ahead and apply my Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and then I'm going to apply this Born Pretty Store chrome pigment powder After removing the excess powder, I go ahead and seal it with gel top coat. Next, I'm going to be using this Dancing Nail UV Gel that I got from banggood.com and I use a nail art brush to apply it to the nail to create the seashell design. I apply each strip of gel and then I flash cure in my UV lamp for about 20 seconds. Um, this is just to stop the gel from moving around because if you don't do that, it will kind of just slide around and it'll kind of just mush into all the other lines and you'll lose all your definition and all that. So you have to flash cure in between each application of the lines. So once I apply all of the seashell lines that I like, I go ahead and cure it for a full two minutes. And then I use my builder gel to apply my stones. All right, so I cure that for two minutes in my UV lamp and this is the finished look. Just a cute seashell a mermaid inspired nail design. I really love how these came out. It's super sparkly and it's just very, very pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. So head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out my blog and my shop. The sugar glitter that I use for this look is available in my shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.